Oh, the pop you gave me the Kama Sutra. The pop-up edition. With full chance for reader participation and plenty of tabs to pull. There are pictures of bendy brown beauties dressed in scanty but elegant clothes who show no resistance to smiling insistence by elegant, amorous, Indian bows. You gave me the Kama Sutra pop-up version. It's so realistic. The men all have cute little lingams, and there's tabs so the reader can swing them. And the ladies are kissed, not a square inch is missed, from their yoni right down to their wiggly toes. You gave me the Kama Sutra, moving pictures to show what to do, and lots of advice how to make love feel nice. And you popped up as you always do. <laughs> you gave me the Kama Sutra, and I know that we have a fine future. The practice of loving depends on the moving of all body parts, above all, the heart. And that's how I know that I suit you. Yeah! Yeah! Woo and one last one on the subject of love, as it is just after Valentine's Day. And, um, some people have accused us of being a little bit over the hill for love. Oh, uh, never. Uh, well, I think cuts. never as well. I'm just having a look for a little poem that I penned called Over Age Sex. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the contents, oh, love. The contents. It's disgusting. It's obscene. And it shouldn't be allowed. It's perverted. It's embarrassing and wicked. And if you have to do it, please don't mention it out loud. We don't want to know just when and where you did it. It's different if you're young and you tell about the fun that you had last night in someone else's bed, or how you licked her thingy, and how she got all clingy, and how your thing was iron, how she wailed in ecstasy, how she melted at your touch, or being more discreet. How you fell down at her feet and told her that you loved her and you wanted her so much. Yes, if you're under 30, it's all right to write quite dirty and tell the world about your private sex life. Even when you're pushing 40, you can still be fairly naughty. But at 50, some will tell you, stop. You should be getting ready for the afterlife. <laughs> In bed as well as out, we intend to go on having sex and fun together. Old arms still can intertwine. We have done it, we still do it. And our erotic loving will go on and keep us happy until we are 99. So I hope we don't offend when we let you visualize our aging bodies locked in flagrante. Sex won't vaporize or grow cold when you grow old. And love is never just a simple marriage of two minds. Love is never just a simple marriage of two minds.